Deel inmiddels nummer 1570 met een uitzending voor vandaag, 9 maart 2019. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be almost completely in English. Dit bulletin is vrijwel geheel in het Engels. We beginnen vandaag met het RSTB nieuws. Als data hebben we shortwave radiogram, zoals afgelopen middag door mij ontvangen op 9400 kHz. Shortwave radiogram begint gewoonlijk met MFSK 32. De snelheid schakelt automatisch. Normaal gesproken zijn er zo'n 6 tot 10 foto's in een uitzending die ook in MFSK worden uitgezonden. We start today with the RGB news. Data comes from shortwave radiogram, which most of the time starts with MFSK32. It should be auto-switching. Shortwave radiogram has between 6 and 10 images, also in MFSK. Audio frequency is 1500 Hz. Uh, de centrale frequency is 1500 Hz, dat vergat ik nog te vertellen. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you by G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the text of the bulletin on the RSGB's own website and also at po- the podcast at gb2rs.podbean.com. Good morning. This is GB2RS News. It's Sunday the 10th of March 2019. Here are the main news headlines. Amateur radio development leader required. Contact cadets on 60 metres in exercise Blue Ham. DXCC most wanted list updated. The RSGB is looking to recruit to a voluntary leadership position in the newly formed Amateur Radio Development Committee. The post holder will play a key role in contributing towards meeting strategic priorities under Strategy 2022, especially growth participation and diversity. As well as leading on existing elements within the committee, the chairman will develop two new areas that will include the recruitment of project leads. Full details can be found on the RSGB website. Next weekend, the 16th and 17th of March, Army, Navy and Air Cadet units in the UK will be carrying out Exercise Blue Ham 19. Operated on the 5 MHz shared band, the expected period of operation will be from 8am to 5pm on both days. QSO exchange details can be found at alphacharlie.org.uk. Amateur operators may claim a certificate if they contact 10 or more stations over the weekend and submit a copy of their log sheet. The DXCC Most Wanted Entities list has been updated on Club Log. It contains 340 entities. The top five most wanted are P5 North Korea, 3Y stroke B Bouvet Island, FT5 stroke W Crozet Island, BS9H Scarborough Reef and CE0X San Felix Islands. Scarborough Reef and San Felix Islands switch places in the 5th to 4th to 5th position. The complete DXCC Most Wanted Entities list is available on secure.clublog.org forward slash most wanted dot php. A note for your diary. Next voting opens for the RSGB 2019 AGM on the 13th of March. Members will find the resolutions and other details in the April issue of RADCOM and after the 13th of March on the RSGB website. Also, the 2019 RSGB AGM takes place in Birmingham on Saturday the 27th of April. The amateur radio on the International Space Station US team will offer two very unusual items in its first ever auction. JVC Kenwood generously gave a brand new TS-890S signed by astronauts and the ARRL donated the limited edition 2019 ARRL Handbook for Radio Communications box set, again signed by astronauts. Bidding starts on the 8th of April at 1200 UTC and ends on the 14th of April at 2200 UTC. More auction details will be posted on the ARIS website. Finally, it was with great sadness that we learned this week of the death of Jim Stevenson, G0EJQ. He was RSGB Region 13 representative. He passed away unexpectedly on Monday the 4th of March. 
an incredibly enthusiastic amateur and a unique irrepressible character, Jim will be missed by a large number of people, both inside and beyond his region. An obituary for Jim appears on page 95 of the April Radcom, which will begin arriving on Wednesday this coming week. Now for details of rallies and events in the coming week. Today, the 10th of March, the Grantham ARC Radio and Electronics Rally takes place at Grantham West Community Centre, Trent Road, Grantham in Lynx, NG31 7XW. Doors are open from 9.30 to 3pm, £3 to get in. There'll be trade stands, RSGB bookstall and special interest groups. Catering is available on site. Contact Kevin Burton, G6SSN, 07793142483. Cardiff University Amateur Radio Club has gained a call sign GW4CDF in time for the Microwave Roundtable event on the 16th of March. Held at the Cardiff University Engineering Department, Newport Road in Cardiff, you can find out more of the about the Roundtable at www. Cardiffars, that's C-A-R-D-I-F-F-A-R-S dot org. Next Saturday, the 16th, the Lohan Rail Rally will take place at Lohan Memory Memorial Hall. I'll say that again at Lohan Millennium Memorial Hall, Cliff, Clifton Street, uh, Lohan in Wales, SA 334QG. Doors open at 10am. Details uh, from Matthew on 07398 825024. Next Sunday, the 17th, the 34th Withal Radio Club Hamfest takes place at the club headquarters, Withal House, Silver Street, B476LZ. Doors open at 9:45 a.m. with disabled visitors gaining access at 9:30. There's a free on-site parking, and admission is four pounds. There are four halls of traders, including a bring and buy and a club stand. A selection of refreshments will be available all day, and bar facilities within Withal House open from midday. Contact Ian Reeve, M0IDR, on 01386839655. To get your event into RADCOM, into GB2RS, and on the RSGB website, please send details as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk. We need to know about four months in advance if it's to go in RADCOM. Now the DX News from 425DX News and other sources. Richard G3RWL will be active as 8P6DR from Barbados, that's IOTA NA021, between the 13th of March and the 17th of April. He'll be operating CW and RITI on 80 to 10 metre bands. QSL via Club Logs or QRS, Logbook of the World, or via his home call sign either direct or via the Bureau. Hans Martin, DK2HM, will be on the air as E51HMK from Rarotonga, which is OC013, in the South Cook Islands between the 14th and the 22nd of March. He'll be operating SSP and FT8, 82 10 metre bands, QSL via lo- Club Logs OQRS, Logbook of the World EQSL, or via his home call sign, Direct or Bureau. Yacek SP5APW will be active as XV9JK from Thu Island, AS157 in Vietnam between the 10th and 16th of March. He'll be operating SSB mostly on 17 and 20 meter bands. And in case of bad propagation, he'll be operating FT8 on 40 and 30 meters. QSL via Club Logs OQRS or via his home call. Dagmar, DM7PQ and Rainer, DL1AUZ, will be active holiday style as E51NPQ and E51AUZ from Rarotonga, which is OC013 in the South Cooks, until the 11th of March, from Manihiki, which is OC014 in the North Cooks, on the 13th to the 25th of March, and from Aitutaki, OC083 in the South Cooks, from the seventh, from the twenty seventh to the thirty first of March, they'll be operating CW only. Andy DK five ON will be active as PJ two stroke call sign from Curacao, which is SAO nine nine between the fifteenth, sorry, between the fourteenth and the thirtieth of March. He'll be operating CW SSB Ritty and FT eight on the eighty to six meter bands. QSL via Logbook of the World Club Log Club Logs OQRS or via his home call either direct or bureau. Now for the special event news, 
As part of British Science Week, Frodsham CFE School will be operating GB2 OVE on the 12th and 13th of March from 12 noon to 3 p.m. on both days. So if you hear the young people on the air, please give them a call. The James Clark Maxwell Radio Society will be operating from Parton Kirk, Parton Village near Castle Douglas, DG74NE, over this weekend, and they're using the call sign GB2JCM. Activities are part of British Science Week. Feel free to come along and join them, and just please bring your licence with you. Please send special event details to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as possible for free publicity on GB2RS, Radcom and online. And remember that UK stations with special event call signs must be open to the public, so our free publicity can make things more widely known. Now for contest news, the RSGB Commonwealth Contest ended its 24-hour run at 1000 UTC today, the 10th. It's CW only, 3.5 to 28 megs bands with exchange signal report and serial number. HQ stations also send HQ. Today the 10th, the second 70 megs cumulative contest runs from 1000 to 1200 UTC using all modes the exchange's signal report, serial number and locator. The Work Tall Britain 3.5 megs contest takes place today the 10th of March from 1800 to 2200 UTC. Entries need to be with the contest manager by the 31st. The exchange will be RS plus serial number plus web square. Full details. Works All Britain, uh, which is worked-all-britain.org.uk. On Tuesday, the 432 Megs FM activity contest runs from 1900 to 1955 UTC using FM only. It's followed by the all-mode 432 Megs UK activity contest 2000 to 2230 UTC. The exchange for both contests is signal report, serial number and locator. And on Wednesday, the 80 metre club championship CW leg runs from 2000 to 2130 UTC. The exchange is signal report and serial number. On Thursday, the 50 Megs Machine Generated Mode Activity Contest runs from 1900 to 1955 UTC. It's immediately followed by the All Mode 50 Megs UK Activity Contest 2000 to 2230 UTC. The exchange for both contests is Signal Report, Serial Number and Locator. The next weekend, the Bartag HF Ritty Contest runs from 0200 UTC on the 16th to 0200 UTC on the 18th of March. Using 3.5 to 28 megs bands, the exchange is signal report, serial number and time. Also next weekend is the Russian DX contest running from 1200 UTC on the 16th to 1200 UTC on the 17th. It uses CW and SSB only. 1.8 to 28 megs bands, the exchange is signal report and serial number. Russian stations also send their Oblast code. Now for the propagation report compiled from by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. The sun sprouted a new sunspot this week, bringing the sunspot number to 17 and the solar flux index to 73. The sunspot number represents 10 for a group and 1 for each of the sunspots in that group. Geomagnetic conditions were more settled over the week, with the KP index hitting 1 or 2. This was due to a lack of coronal hole activity. Looking at the extreme UV image taken by the Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, it shows that we can expect relatively calm conditions at least for the coming week. NOAA still has a geomagnetic warning out for the 10th of March, but it's hard to see why. We can expect the solar wind speed to remain average over that time, but there are no earth-facing coronal holes to push the K-index to 4 or higher. Now that we're in March, we can expect to see better HF conditions with good opportunities for north-south paths, such as the UK to South Africa, UK to South America. Look for openings on 17, perhaps even 15 metres, which you might normally expect to be closed at this time of the year. The charts prop quest show that 20 metres is open most days, with occasional openings on 17, but do look out for fleeting operations on 15 metres, especially around lunchtime. Finally, good luck in the Commonwealth contest this weekend, which often throws up excellent opportunities to work some DX. Now VHF and up propagation, it's shaping up to be a quiet propagation week, driven by low pressure which will be located in the north and east of the British Isles. This implies a colder northwesterly weather path. At the time, at this time of year, it's hard to get too excited about tropo in such disturbed weather conditions. We're not far away from the traditional season of April showers, 
with a chance of some heavy ones, particularly with hail and thunder, which might provide an opportunity to try and some rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. But this thundery weather, it's worthy. But in this thundery weather, it's worth considering whether to disconnect your antennas before going off to work. High pressure is displaced well to the southwest of the UK, so if there are any tropo prospects, they'll be marginal and confined to the southwest and into western France and Biscay. There is a small meteor shower, the Gamma Normids, on Thursday, but in general we'll have to rely on random meteors around dawn for the best chance of meteor scatter DX. It's a good week for EME, with rising moon declinations peaking on Friday and falling losses as we approach perigee a week on Tuesday. Of course, when all other propagation modes fail, there's always the satellites, as well as the well-established low-Earth orbit satellites. We have now a geostationary transponder, OSCAR 100, available for use 24-7. Uh, Google Goonhilly Web SDR to find the online receiver and have a listen before you commit your efforts to operating via this new one. That's it from the propagation team this week. All from me also. Until next week. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.a0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshopnl 70 mhzshopnl Welcome to program 90 of Shortwave Radiogram. I'm Kim Andrew Elliott in Arlington, Virginia, USA. On Shortwave Radiogram, we transmit digital text and images on an analog shortwave broadcast transmitter. For more information about our project, visit swradiogram.net. That's swradiogram.net. On today's program, text in MFSK32 and MFSK64, news about potential interference from wireless power, and a look back to Voice of America broadcast to Czechoslovakia. First, the program preview in MFSK32. That's MFSK32.